Hey guys, welcome to your full body workout. My name is Coach Jody here at Safari Run. We have three blocks of exercises today. So grab a heavy, medium, and light dumbbell weight if you had that option. We're gonna be doing a lot of strength, a little bit of cardio, and a little bit of balance. Grab your mat as well and your water and let's get things started. All right guys, let's go ahead and start with a leg lift in the back. Pull those arms back. Nice. All right, are we ready? What are we stretching? Quadricep. So let's go into your hamstring. Go ahead and do a high leg lift in front. Careful, you're just getting here. Figure things out. Keep your chest up. Try not rounding over. A little bit longer. Three. Two, and one, take it for a jog. All right, if you're at safari, take it down green, come back on red, or is that the opposite of what we did on Tuesday? I, I, I'm gonna stay out of it. All right, those on screen, great. Great to see you're taking whatever you got, working it. Maybe you're going forward and back. Maybe going down the hallway. Pull those knees up. All right, this part of your workout, we're just kind of getting that heart rate up, getting that blood moving, slow things down, slow it down, take it to your spot, inchworm down, your spot, warming things up with the upper body, inchworm down, hold your plank, and go ahead and move forward, move back. All right, you're just putting all your weight forward, all your weight back. Let's say a little bit of your weight forward and back. Feeling the stretch in your calf, your wrist. Go ahead and take it to all four. So you're on all four, hands and knees. Go ahead and push those hips back. Extend those arms forward. Rock side to side. A Little bit longer. Three, two, and one. Roll over onto your back. Roll over and take it to your bridge. Lift up, back down, warming up your backside. Focus in on squeezing your glutes every time you lift up. Here's three more. Two, and one. Take those hips down on the floor. Grab your knees. Rock side to side. Breathe. Let's take a deep breath in. Acknowledge that we made it here today. Ooh. All right, ready, stop. Roll on your spine, forward and back. Forward and back. Do what feels good to you. If this is not feeling good, stop and do what feels good. Last one, roll things up, maybe no hands. Do whatever you can do, nice. Ready, staying right here. Let's do, take it to a three count quad stretch. So one, two, three, switch. One, two, three. Of course, if you need any balance help today, grab something. You're counting to yourself. One, two, three. We're keeping it active because we're getting ready. And last one, I'm gonna hinge forward. So feet are right underneath you. Hinge down, keeping a flat back, and then right back up. Remember, it's not about how far I can get down with a rounded back. That's okay, but right now for this one, I want you to go ahead and stick out those hips, get down as low as you can by keeping your spine straight. Last one. Great job. Let's take it back to your jog. Back to your jog. Nice. All right, if you're here at Safari, again, be careful of the floor. It could be a little sticky. All right, take it to a skip. If you're at one place, maybe you're pulling one knee up, no hop. Maybe you're hopping. 
High knees. Get those knees up. Three, two, and stay where you are. Take it to a jump jack. You'll feel your calves. You can step it out. Always modify it if needed. Three, two, and one. One more. Leg lift in front. One, two, three. Leg lift. Straight leg lift. Should be feeling a little bit better. You're breathing. All right, guys. Remember, you don't have to go up so high and round. Keep your chest up. And we did it. Great job, okay. Go ahead and get a drink of water. We're taking it into our first block. First block. All right, so taking a drink, getting going on our first block. The first block, you're gonna need your mat only for one exercise. So you can set it up. You'll need heavy weight or medium if you want to go your first exercise a little medium just getting yourself here we have two rounds on this exercise it's a squat you pause and then you stand starting the clock now we have 10 seconds all right so feet are right underneath or a little bit further apart let's have your hands up above this time go ahead and squat down Come up halfway with a pause and then up. Got it? Yes. Squat, pause, up. As you come up, you want to squeeze your booty. Down, pause, squat, down, pause, squat. Keep going here. Why do I have that pause? Keep you down in your spot just a little bit longer. A little cheap for me to get you there. Pause and uh, one more team. And we got it. Set down your weight. We have a hinge to a row. So you're hinging over. Row, let the weight down, come right back up. Ready? Starting in four, three, two, one. Chest is up. Hinge, row, let the weight come down. Stand up, so you're getting your glute, you're getting your back. Nice. All right, couple of things. Really push out the hips. When you hinge, pull those elbows all the way back. Hinge, row, pull up. Nice. When you're rowing, try to keep those pulling elbows pulling back. Last one. And we made it. Weight is down, no weight. Taking it to an inchworm. Push up, modified or no push up. So inchworm, ready, set, begin. Inchworm down, that's walking your hands. Hold there with a push up or no push up. You can modify that push-up, stand up, reach up, and do it again. Okay, here's your pace. You do you. You can go faster or slower. The main thing is good form. Try not rounding them back. Pulling that rib cage in. Remember, you can go onto your knees. And you got it. All right, a lateral lunge. Pick up one of your weights. Can be your middle of weight. You're gonna hold on to the weight with your left hand. Step out to your right. Ready, set, chest is up. Couple of things with your arms. You can keep your hand on your hip or take it out to the side for a little bit more challenging. Main thing here is you're pushing your hip back. The move should be just to your lunge, not rounding over. Keep just to your lunge, right back up. Now look at your knee. The knee doesn't go over the toe. 
Ready, stop, switch direction. Other side. So you're stepping over to your left. Nice. And holding with your right hand. Keep going here. One more. And you made it. All right, keep that same weight. Same weight. You're stepping back with your right leg. Weight is in your right hand. Be good. Take it all the way down and back. Straight back up. Whenever you have one dumbbell, it changes your balance. Try to pull in that rib cage. Keep your balance strong. Breathe. And last one, switch sides. Weight is in. The left hand, stepping back with your left. Whenever I do this one, it gets a little wobbly because I have that one weight. We got this. And you made it. Take your weight down, take it onto the mat. Let's go with your dying bug. Get there when you can. Hey, Peter. Dying bug. Ready. Dying bug. Extend one leg, opposite arm out. And then switch. If you want to add a little bit more intensity, your head, shoulders will come up. If you're good with your, where you're at, with your head on the floor, that's good too. Main thing is pull that rib cage in. Feel your core. If you feel your back, you can tap your foot on the floor. Give you a little bit more stability. Seven more seconds here. Nice. And we made it. Slowly roll up. We're gonna take it to a side shuffle. So make your space. Side shuffle. You're just doing three little steps to one direction, then three to your other. All right, let's pick up a little bit of speed. Make it yours. Good. All right, we got this now. If you want to add a little, add a jump jack at the end. So jump jack, side shuffle, jump jack. If you want to just keep it side to side shuffle, that's good too. Main thing is we're getting our heart rate up in the middle of our set. Actually, it's the end of our set. We have eight exercises, 40 seconds each. Two more seconds here. And stop. All right, we're doing strength. We're doing cardio and a little bit of balance. This next one, plant your right leg. Lift your, plant your right leg. Lift your left leg. And if you can, extend those arms up or out. You're focusing on balance. Balance is strength. Try to hinge over, unless something's a little cranky. Hold here. Three, two, switch legs. All right, now look at your back. Shouldn't be rounding. You're planting that left foot. Extend the right leg, or you can take your foot on the floor too. All's good. You know there's always modifications. Watch one spot. You'll do better. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Good work. We're going to the top. One more round through. So it started with your squat. Pause at the bottom or halfway. Grab your weight. You know what's happening? Let's challenge. Down, halfway, and then up. Your weight can be up above or down below. Get that pause. Squat, pause, and stand. Squat, pause, stand. Push into your heels, push into your glutes. The muscle we're working, focusing on, is those legs, the glutes. Try not letting the body lean forward. That's a hinge. And stop, set down your weight. The hinge is next, where we hinge over, pull the weight up, stand up. Ready, set. Begin, hinge over, knees are bent, 
do your row let the weight down then stand up chest is up proud soldier squeeze your glutes when you're lifting up get the power from those glutes strong glutes down row let the weight come down then left breathe enjoy this movement guys all strong backside so important and stop inchworm is next push up or no push up knees or no knees speed or no speed begin timers on everyone has good form flat back not dropping the chin when you're doing your push-up try not rounding your back pull your rib cage in we're strong we're stable the tough stuff changes us keep it going breathe last one here and we did it timers up ready for our next exercise which is a lateral lunge so grab one weight let's take your weight in your left hand right hand right leg steps out begin you can have your right hand on your hip or out to the side main thing is that your placement of your knee does not go over your toe we want healthy knees stop switch sides weight is in right hand step into your left if you have issues with your knees you can always stay stable you don't have to step out chest is up feel your inner thigh working and stop both your weight and your step goes to the right to the back ready weight is in your right step back with your right lift up okay are your hips square meaning straight forward yes back is flat all your weight is in that front left heel breathe you only got eight seconds left on this side do you feel your glute left glute switch legs switch hands your own pace here we go feeling your right glute now balance is pulling you over i think this one's a little easier than lateral so i try to get down a little lower maybe you can join me and we oh, made it all right guys going to your dime bug so the only exercise in this block on the floor grab your weight or your mat maybe ready dime bug pull one knee up same arm up and begin alternating to modify you're going to take your feet down onto the floor your head down onto the floor keep that knee bent if you're modifying if you're not modifying, get those shoulders up. Extend those legs. 18 seconds left. Do you feel your core? Your midsection. Be careful not to feel the backside. If you do modify, Woo, we got this. <laughs> and stop. Roll things up at your own pace. Take it to a side shuffle. A little bit of cardio after the cardio is balanced a little hard to do all right side shuffle get your feet in go careful of the floor you know a little sticky bring up those feet 10 more seconds we're gonna add that jump jack at the end get your feet on ready add the jump jack still see adding a little bit of agility there having to switch things up 
breathe. All right, eight seconds left here. Last time you're doing this one. Four. And stop. After a cardio right into balance is a little challenging. Plant that right foot, extend those arms up, keep your chest up. Toe can be down on the floor or up. You do you, begin. If you get a little off, that's okay. We're all shooting for excellence. Three, two, stop, change legs. Do you feel that booty working? Keep that chest up, go. Hold your balance, be strong. Rib cage is pulling in, shoulder blades are pulling down. And back, eight seconds. Four, three, two, we just did that. Block one down, we got two more blocks to do. Get a drink of water, good job. All right, this next block. You'll need your mat a little bit more. Actually, like five of the exercises. Just so you know, keep it close by. Our first exercise starts with a goblet squat. So we're gonna go wide squat, hold on to the dumbbell. However you wanna do it. One, two, make it comfortable. That's what we're gonna start with. Catch your breath. You should need to catch your breath because it's still up from your cardio. We're all working hard here. Starting in eight seconds. Grab that weight. Ready, set, wide stance, begin. Get down as low as you can. Knees, follow the toes. When you stand up, squeeze your glutes. When you sit down, push that booty back like you're sitting down in your chair. I'll say chair. <laughs> All right, do you feel your inner thigh, your glutes, your upper body staying strong? You have eight more seconds here. And then we're gonna take it onto the floor with all fours, heavy weight, two dumbbells, and stop. All right, it's a one arm row, all fours. So grab that heavy weight. Get there when you can. All right, so on your knees, on your hands, weights underneath, pull your weight up and back, and then right back down. It should be heavy enough to throw you off balance a little bit. Unless you're feeling a little sore from Tuesday, movement is good, I promise. You'll feel better. Just hang in there. We all, are challenging ourselves. Keep going here. Feel your back. Flat back. Belly button is in. Shoulders are pulling down. We do this exercise for good posture. Three more seconds. And we did it. We're gonna lie on your back with or without weight for your bridge. Keep your, maybe your heavy weight, maybe take one of them. Maybe take two of them. Your bridge, you're working your glutes. You're gonna lift your hips, then lower down. Shoulder blades stay down. Now if you want, pull those toes up so you put all the weight in your glute, in your heel. If you're feeling too much in your shin, let the toes down. If you feel anything in that lower back, set down your weight. Get your squeeze, every rep, up at the top. Great work. Do you feel your glute? And last one, come down. Take a little breather. We're going into chest press. We're already set up. Heavy weight, chest press. Ready? Begin, feet are on the floor, hips are on the floor. Focus in on your chest. Letting the weight come down towards your chest, out to the side, then right back up above the chest. Pull your rib cage in, 
Feel the strength in your core as well. All your weight is being pushed up from your chest. Feel it. Let's focus in on your breathing. You'll have more power if you blow the weight up. Exhale the weight up. Three seconds more. Ooh. Nice. Rolling up with the weight on your knees. Roll it up to protect your back and your shoulders. Set down your weight. Take it to a crunch. Here we go. Regular crunch. Just crunching up. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, take your feet off the floor. But you should not feel your lower back. Pull that belly button down into your spine. Feel good work here. Ready. Ball everything up. Your knees, your upper body comes up and then release. If you want to modify, you can touch the floor. If you want to challenge, you can extend out. All kinds of levels, all kinds of ways to do. You do you. Three, two, and one. Roll things up halfway. We're gonna roll over to a plank. If something's going on with your wrist, keep it on your forearms. Into a plank, still working the midsection. All right, begin. All right, things to do to get make this a little easier for yourself is to keep your shoulder above your wrist. Try not dropping your head because you lose that functional form. Now, tighten up your glutes. You're gonna say, hey, another added strength right there. If you did that, you probably feel in your power, your strength. Try not dropping that head. You got this. All right, tap each shoulder or stay there. You only have five seconds. We are getting this together. And we made it. All right, guys, we're standing up for a little cardio. Standing up for a little cardio. You're gonna kick out your right leg, step back with your left. Kick right, step back left. All right, time to take it into your own way you wanna do it. Maybe you add a little hop, maybe no hop. Maybe get those arms moving a little bit more. The whole idea is we do a little cardio. Ready, switch legs, so stop. Kick with your left, step with your right, step back. We get a little cardio before our balance. All right, let's challenge ourselves. You're adding something, right? Four more seconds. Heart rate is up. And stop. Stand with your right foot. You're gonna pull your left foot back as though you're doing a quad stretch. Push your hips forward. The balance part comes now. You either hinge forward or just stand there. So hinge forward, find a spot. Watch your spot. Be safe. Hold there, 10 more seconds. You do you. Is your back flat? Three, two, stand up, other side. Arm can be wherever you need it. You have that leg back, your right leg is back, feeling a stretch. Hinge over if you choose to challenge. All right. We showed up today. We're showing up right now, too. And you made it. Stop. That's the end of your second block. We're going to do it one more time. You grab the weight you need to. First exercise is goblet squat. In five seconds, we'll go wide stance. Ready? Begin. Wide stance. Breathe in, chest is up, push those hips back, push the knees towards the toes, whatever direction the toe is going, that's where your knee is heading. One or two weights, it's your challenge. Breathe. All right, where's your chest? It's up, because it's working too. You have eight more seconds here, then we're gonna take it onto the floor with your heavy weight, all four, one arm row. And stop. 
All right, here we go. Heavy weights, so it throws you off balance. You can do this here because your body is resting. Only your upper body is working. Ready, flat back and begin. Pull one elbow back, shoulder is down. Breathe. Take it your own speed. You have control. Is your belly button pulling in towards your spine? Not arching our back. Your head doesn't lean up. No neck wrinkles, right? <laughs> I mean, don't have that chin up so high. You have wrinkles in the back of your neck. Keep it in line. You have 10 seconds left. Do you feel that upper back? Working for upper body strength and you made it. Stop. We're gonna take it into your bridge. So flip things over onto your back with or without the weight. One or two weights if you choose. And begin. You're pushing those hips up and then right back down. Your toes can be up. But if you feel too much in that shin, you're gonna let those toes down. Feel the work being done in the glutes. Do you feel that movement coming from that glute muscle? You should. All right, I've said it before. The glute is so important. We sit on it all day. We gotta. You gotta work it too. This, go ahead and stop. Walking, balancing, it works the glute. All right, ready. You're gonna go into your chest press next. So you're gonna take your heavy weight to your side and then press right back up. Heavy weight, chest press, begin. If you feel any clicking going on in the shoulder, you can pull your elbows in closer. Contract your abdominal. Don't just let it hang out. We're working everything here. Light on your hands. Feet are just kind of resting there. You can squeeze that glute. All right, try not letting the neck lift up. It is neutral, in line with the spine. Three. And one, roll it up or set down the weight, whatever is comfortable for you. We're gonna stay here with a crunch. Just crunching up, try not pulling up on your neck. Try lifting your shoulders. Pull that belly button in. Before you get going, you should have felt the abdominals. Contract before you go, always my rule. You should feel that muscle working on about the fist third if you're really good. All right, let's ball those knees up. Ball the knee up, extend out. If you th think that that's too much for you today, you can touch the floor. Just keep the feet on the floor. Maybe pull one foot up at a time. Three, two, and one. Stop for a pause. We're gonna roll things over for your plank. All right, I know it's gonna be tough. It's tough for me. It might be a little tough for you too. But like I said before, the tough things change us. Let's go. Hold here, hold here. Check your form. If you have to pull those knees down, good job for staying in the workout. Modify always, right? Okay, think about form. You have your shoulder in line with your wrist. Toes are on the floor. If you need to make it a little easier, you can straddle those feet. But squeeze your glutes, you'll feel that power. Nice. 10 more seconds, maybe tap in the shoulder with your opposite hand, or stay in there. Let's make this. Three, two, and one. Woo, good job. All right, guys, coming on up into our cardio. You're gonna go ahead and kick out to the front with your right, step back with your left, get it going. Timer's on. Let's go. Woo, adding a little, little, little jump, little pump. Maybe those arms are rocking.
slow things down, change feet. So kick to the front with your left, step back with your right. Keep it going. Add that little pump. Guys, things are getting a little tough. We're at the end of our second block. You know we're over halfway. Let's go. You did it. Slow things down, balance time. Quadricep stretch. You're gonna take your right foot up. Right foot, pull it up. Hold here. If you can, hinge forward. If just stay in there for a balance, is a good balance for you today? Keep it there. How far can you hinge? How long can you stand? We're shooting for 20 seconds on each side. Hand can be out or in. Squeeze your glutes. Stop, switch. If you get off balance, oh well. Get right back in the game. Here we are. Second leg. Good alignment. Chest is up. Try not extending that chin. Keep that neck in line. Three, two, one. You made it. Grab a drink of water. All right, we have one more block. Let's get ready. Going to include a little bit more arms. Fist punch to everyone. On screen, here at the gym. Can I call this the gym? Mm -hmm. The kids do. All right, guys. Starting in a couple of seconds, get yourself ready. The first exercise is going to be a lunge stance. You're just going to hold here, bicep curl. So whatever weight you do with biceps, we'll hold 20 seconds on each side. We're going to start in 10 seconds. So get your spot ready. All right, taking that right foot forward, left foot back. If you're with me, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna do both sides. Let's go. I see you on screen utilizing everything that you got in the house, yes. All right, guys, let's keep those elbows stable. Meaning, don't pull them up, keep them down to your side. Ready? Stop your stance, go the other leg. Curls. You should be feeling the front of your arm. The stance is, you're working with those legs too. Squat down if you can. Three, two, one. Your next exercise is a press. Pressing, so grab that weight. Not too heavy. You're gonna squat, then press. In six seconds. So feet right underneath or a little bit further. Squat and press. When you're squatting, okay, Peter, you have me laughing right now. When you're squatting, sit back that glute. If you guys could only see him, he's got an ottoman over his head. No joke. Here we go. Good job. Getting your resources. All right, you might feel, hear me breathing. I hope you guys are breathing too. It means you're working hard. Keep it going. Seven more seconds. Keep those elbows in line with your wrists. And we did it. Lightweight shoulder lateral raise. Lightweight shoulder lateral raise. It's just a letter T. Go light. All right, let's set things up. Shoulder blades are down and back. Lifting up out to your side. Knees are bent. No tricks here. Just feeling the side of your shoulder. All right, if you don't keep those knees bent, what's gonna happen? Maybe tomorrow, maybe later today, you're gonna feel your back. Let's keep those knees bent. Supporting our body always. All right, remember, it's not a letter Y, letter T. A little bit more control there to have to do a letter T. All right, got eight seconds left. The next exercise, you're on the mat, on the mat, and stop. With or without weight, behind your knee for a donkey kick, working your glutes. So, get on down. 
Ready. We're gonna stay on one leg. You can be on all fours on your hands or on your forearms. I want you, whatever leg you chose to push up, go ahead and pull the toe towards your knee. Squeeze your glutes every time you lift up. Now, if the weight stopping you from going a full range of motion, you shouldn't have that weight. Maybe it's a little too tough today. Do you feel your booty working? One side. All right, you had 40 seconds on this leg. We need to stop and get the other leg. You have some time to do a little stretchy stretch, whatever you need to do. Remember this for your next set. If you can add weight or you need to subtract weight, you have one more set left. All right, here we go. Down with your knee, then drive right back up. Toe is towards your knee. Push with that heel. No reason for losing your intensity here. Keep a strong workout, keeping focused on the muscle you're working. Nice, how about those shoulders? Pull them down. 10 more seconds. Stay with me. After this, we're gonna do lying tricep extension. So you'll be on your back. Three, two, stop. Lying tricep extension. All right, so you can take that weight or a heavy weight. You're gonna be on your back. Here we go. You're on your back. Your elbows stay over your shoulder. Let the weight come down towards your ear, then press up. Check it out. If it's too light of a weight, you're gonna add a little weight for your last set. Focus in on your breathing. Maybe you're still squeezing those glutes. If you wanna challenge yourself, pull your elbows towards your ears just a little bit. Three, two, and one. Before we get up, we're gonna to go to all fours again. So you're just gonna flip over, flip over, all fours, working your tricep. Let's stay on one side with a kickback for 20 seconds and then your other side, 20 seconds. Get in the back of your arm, go ahead and start. The clock started. Get in the back of your arm, a muscle that we don't get often. Hang in there, working one side. Ready, stop, get the other side. So your elbow comes straight up and then you kick back. Try not making it a bicep curl by pulling the weight forward. Keep the weight towards your knee and then kick back. Shoulders are down. Good, nice flat spine. Chin is down. Yes. And we made it. All right. We're going to stand up and we're going to do a little balance and shoulder external rotation. So we took out a little bit of cardio. We didn't do a lot of cardio today, but we did enough. So you're on an external rotation. It's a light weight, if I didn't mention that. Let's lift one leg if you want that balance challenge. However you want to lift it, just lift it. All right, right now you want to look at your wrists. They shouldn't be, I don't know what you want to call that, cocked back. It should be straight. Shoulders are back, switch legs. Keep going with that shoulder external rotation back. Palms are up. Great job, you guys. All right, this is the end of your third block. We're gonna repeat it one more time and then say goodbye. Well, after a cool down. Sit down your weight. We're gonna start with that lunge stance bicep curl. Bicep curl. Ready, begin. You're in a lunge stance. You're curling up. Feel the front of your arms. Feel good form. You guys, you guys look great. All right, we're not rocking. We're solid. Oh, gauntlets down over here. Love it. All right, 
Ready? Switch. <laughs> All right. I love it when you guys actually talk. Not to each other, to me. <laughs> and we made it. Yes. All right. It's a press weight. Whatever weight you use for your press. You squat, then press. Remember, your weight stays right in line with your shoulder. So squat and press. Elbow in line with the wrist. Try not flaring out. Squat down. Feel your glutes, your legs. Now focus in on your breathing. How about your back? Not arching our back. Squeeze those glutes when you lift up. You're powering up. 10 more seconds. If you feel anything in your neck, it's probably too heavy. Three, two, one. All right, it's the donkey lift. Weight or no weight. Ready? Get there soon. Starting in eight. All right. Set. Begin. You're breathing. All right, remember our focus, it's all about glutes. Press the glute, squeeze the glute. Stay focused. All right, 15 seconds left, stay with me. When I say that, I. I sense that I'm losing you, meaning you're not staying focused. Come on, keep focused. I'm in this with you. Three, two, and one. Okay, we got time. Think about it, get to your other leg. Are we ready? Make it a powerful scent. Here we go. Power up with that glute. Feel the glute. Know why you're doing your glute. Flat back, long spine. Great job. All these little things do matter. When you squat down to pick up something off the floor, it's because you have strength in your legs and your glutes. When you're walking, when you're jogging to go get that Whatever you got to go get. Four, three, two, one. Nice job, you guys. Let's stay right here for your kickback, changing it up a little bit. We're already right here. Already right here. Right in line. Go ahead and pull the elbow back. You're going to press back with that kickback. We can change things up. We're still doing the same exercise. Here we go. 40 seconds, 20 seconds on each side. Shoulder blades are down. You should be squeezing the back of your arm. Stop, switch arms, begin. Flat back. Love it, you guys, good form. Flatten out that back again. Yes. Good. Awareness is everything. Three. Two, one. Now we're gonna lie down, get those tricep extensions. Ready? Extend the weight up, elbows stay in place, and drop the weight by your ears, then right back up. If it's taking you a little longer to get to your exercise, that's okay. Just realize what's going on, fix it next time. Breathe, squeeze your booty. Let's get everything here. If you can take it a little faster because your weight is a little light, go for it. If you grab that heavy weight and you're going nice and slow, good job. There's so many ways to get to where you wanna go. Breathe. We did that. Great job, you guys. Roll things up however you go there. 
Come on up. Last exercise, external rotation. Shoulder blades start down and back. Palms are up. Extend the arm back. If you want to add that challenge with the balance, go ahead and add one leg up. Shoulders are down. Hold to your back. Keep your good form here. Guys, think about your workout. We're on our last exercise. You did a little bit of everything. We showed up, crushed it together. Go ahead and switch legs if you're doing the balance. Do you feel down deep in your shoulder towards your backside? If it's too much, lighten the weight. And you got it. Great job, guys, we did that. All right, grab a drink of water. We're gonna go right into your cool down. Real quick cool down. As I said in my email, it's important to do a warm up, cool down, stretching. All right. Ready. Before you go, come on, let's do this. Straddle your feet just a little bit. Push your hips back. Feel the stretch in your hamstring. Flat back, flat back. Do you feel your glutes, the hamstring? Is your back flat? For this stretch, we're just gonna keep it flat. Great job, go ahead and take it down onto the floor with your hands. If you round your back, that's a-okay. That's okay. Ready, take it to a downward dog. Let's go ahead and keep your heels on the floor. Then whenever you're ready, just do what's comfortable with your body. Maybe rocking it or stepping it. Shoulders are down. Go ahead maybe and push to each side of your hip. Go one hip, push out. The other hip, push out. There's no rules here. What feels good? Ready, take it down onto the floor with all fours. Get on your mat if you need to or if you have it there and round your back, go into your cat cow and take your belly button down. So rounding and arching your back where it feels comfortable. Deep breath in, exhale out. This is your time. Let's get this stretch and release. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and needle through your arm. Let's take whichever arm you want to take through the other arm. Needle it through. Drop that shoulder down. Feel the stretch in through your shoulder, maybe your side. Depends on where you're tight. Maybe your hips are back. Maybe your hips are up. Ready? Come back up. Letting the heart rate come down. Switch arms. Needling it through the other arm. Drop it down. Letting the hips go. Nice job, and release. Last stretch is your 90-90. So both legs, 90-90. 90-90. Great, from here, you're just going to lean towards the front knee, wherever you want. Maybe you're up here. Maybe you get a leg cramp and you switch it. Make it yours, you're just leaning forward. 90-90, ready. Take your hands, walk it towards the back of your hip. Go to wherever you're comfortable doing. If you want a challenge, extend that arm up, the outer arm. Outer arm is up. And let those hands come down. Okay, ready, switch legs. 90, 90, other direction. Next time I'll say right and left. <laughs> It'll get, be good for all of us. All right, extend those arms forward. Whatever leg's in front, that's where you're extending your body forward. If you're up high, no worries. You're starting somewhere. We're all in different places. Ready, walk your fingertips, your hands towards the hip, back towards your hip. Now, whatever arm is on the outer side, you're gonna lift up. And release, that was for a challenge. Great job, you guys, come on up. All righty, ready. Just turn your legs so that you're in a downward dog. Staying there for just a sec as you walk those hands, bend those knees, round everything up. Go ahead and pull the hands while we're here. 
back, getting a stretch to your chest. Woo! Nice, shoulders come down. Let's take a deep breath together, ending off this class. Deep breath, let those arms come up. And exhale down one more time. Take a deep breath, arms up. And exhale down. Great job today, you guys. Good job. Remember to keep your water going. Stay active. We'll see you next time.